हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एक्सामिटियन स्मृति नोट्स फॉर बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट हेप्लॉइड प्रोडक्शन एम्ब्रियो कल्चर रेस्क्यू एंड प्रोटोप्लास कल्चर एंड इट्स टेक्निक सो लेट्स स्टार्ट हेप्लॉइड प्रोडक्शन हेप्लॉयड मीन्स सिंगल सेट ऑफ क्रोमोजोम्स दैट इज ओनली एन वेर एज इन डिप्लॉयड इट हैज टू सेट्स ऑफ क्रोमोजोम्स दैट इज टू एन सो हेप्लॉयड मीन्स basically the saprophytes which contain single sets of chromosome and it is used in the production of homozygous lines and improvement of plants in plant breeding program haploids are basically of two types that is monohaploids and polyhaploids monohaploids means half the number of chromosomes from diploid species and example is maize poly means half the number of chromosomes from polyploids example is wheat there are two methods by which an haploid can be produced under in vitro conditions that is androgenesis and gynogenesis androgenesis means haploid production occur through anther and pollen and gynogenesis means the production occurs through ovary and ovule Androgenesis means the male gametophyte produces haploid plants by stopping the development of pollen cells and forces it to develop into a haploid plant. And in vitro means that is basically the saprophyte from the male gametophyte is grown on a artificial medium and it is of two types that is direct and indirect. Direct is derived from pollen and the pollen acts as the zygote and it is common in plants of family solanaceae next type is indirect here the pollen grains instead of normal embryogenesis divide irreplicably to divide and form callus example in wheat we know now androgenesis is the haploid production of anther and pollen In the previous videos of plant regeneration techniques I have mentioned in detail about all the cultures that is anther culture pollen culture ovule and ovary culture you can even use those slides and write about these cultures in under androgenesis and gynogenesis here are some of the applications of haploid production that is the help in development of homozygous line induction of mutation production of disease resistant plants and evolutionary studies i have mentioned 10 you can write any 4 to 5 under haploid production now next topic is embryo culture rescue now what does embryo mean embryo is a part of seed that consist of tissues for the leaf stem and root and as well as one or more cotyledon Now what does embryo culture means Embryo culture means the growth of any species during its embryonic stage on an artificial medium which helps to obtain quick and optimum growth of plants Now embryo rescue means that the development of plant embryos that might not survive to become viable plants we use embryo rescue basically the plants which are weak immature or the hybrid embryos to prevent the degeneration this technique basically nurtures the immature or weak embryo and allows it or gives it a chance to survive applications of embryo culture can be like cryo cryo preservation crop improvement overcoming seed dormancy and so on now let's look at the technique for embryo rescue culture first the embryos are removed aseptically from the surrounding tissues and are well protected by surrounding tissues under harsh procedures now depending on the organ to be cultured it may be referred to as ovary culture or ovule culture ovule embryo culture is a modified technique of embryo rescue where the embryos are cultured while still inside their ovules to prevent the damage and ovary or pod culture hands employs the use of entire 
ovary into culture the ovary is surface sterilized and cultured and inserted into the nutrient medium and all this has to be done under maintained temperature humidity and the photo period that is required i have given in the flow chart that shows the transfer in the of plant into the culture medium one shows ovule with hybrid embryo and one shows ovule with normal embryo and then finally the plantlets are transferred to the soil so we can summarize it in four steps that is collecting then in vitro culture and adaptation and then finally into the nursery next topic is protoplast culture protoplast are basically plant cells without the cell wall that is they are naked cells surrounded by plasma membrane and they can regenerate cell wall grow and divide into a whole new plant the plant cells can be isolated with the help of cell wall degraded enzymes and growth in suitable condition for regeneration of plantlets under suitable condition also the naked cells because the all the cell wall has been removed that's why they are called as naked cells i have given in flow chart that we take the protoplast that starts developing cell wall and increases the cell division and that ultimately leads to the growth into a new plant the conditions necessary for growth of protoplast are they are cultured at 25 to 28 degree celsius with light intensity or in a dark and after undergoing substantial cell division they are transferred into solid medium the isolation of protoplast is basically done in two steps that is mechanical and enzymatic that is very important part of this protoplast culture let us start with mechanical method we take a small piece of epidermis and subject it to plasmolysis due to plasmolysis the protoplast shrinks away from the cell wall and then we cut the cell wall with the knife in such a way that only cell walls are cut and then undamaged protoplast in the strips are released by osmotic swelling when placed in a low concentration sucrose solution plasmolysis basically means due to loss of water that is through osmosis the cytoplasm pulls away from the cell wall i have shown on the extreme left the diagram also that with the knife we cut the cell wall so that the protoplast is moved out now next method is enzymatic method it is the most widely used technique because it is easy to perform and it includes the organs like root shoot fruit embryo and also callus culture enzymatic method involves two types of method one is direct that is one step only and the sequential the other one which involves two step in direct we take incubate the leaf segment and then centrifuges the protoplast forms the pellet and then it is washed with sorbitol and again centrifuged then the clean protoplast floats and that is pipetted out next type is sequential method or two step method it involves usage of two enzyme mixtures it can be a pectinase or a macro uh, cellulase or anything it involves two enzyme mixtures one can be a micro enzyme and the and the other can be the pectinase or cellulase the protoplasm is released and the separation of cells take place that is the middle lamella gets degraded and we get separated cell plus cellulose that removes the cell wall properly this is the importance of protoplast culture like study in ia reaction osmotic behavior gene transfer and the factors which affect the protoplast culture can be the plant species and varieties plant age the pre culture conditions pre treatment to the tissue before isolating protoplast and also the density of it so in this lecture we studied about haploid production embryo culture rescue and protoplast culture in the next part we will study about somatic hybridization cybrid triploid and somaclonal variation if you have any other doubts do comment and let me know and do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you